Greetings everyone, Jep here. In today's video, we will be unboxing not one, but two of my Nezuko figures again. In last week's video, we unboxed the Mega House GEM series of my Nezuko Kamado collection. So we also compared it with the bootleg version. If you haven't watched that video yet, please go ahead and click the link up here or the link down there at the description. So let me go ahead and show you the two figures that I'll be unboxing for today. It's the Hikake figure, Kamado Nezuko. And we will also be unboxing the figure arts, Kamado Nezuko, this one. So two for today again. So let's go ahead and jump to the unboxing. Hey there. Here we go again. So it's the Hikake figure first, and then the figure arts mini. Here they are side by side. Now let's go ahead and unbox the Hikake figure. Here's the front, here's the top, here's the side with the labels, and here's the other side with Senitsu and Tanjiro, but we're gonna unbox Nezuko. Here's the back of the box, and we're gonna go ahead and unbox this now. Alright, let's remove this, and take it out. Alright. Now let's take her out of the plastic. It's quite easy to open because there are only a few tapes that are securing it. Now let's take her out of the plastic. There you go, my Nezuko. You might be a demon, but you're beautiful from head to toe. Now let's take a look at the box. Let's take it out of the plastic. As you can see, every side of it has paint on it other than the bottom. So let's take a look at Nezuko again. It may be small, but look at the details, man. It's very cute and the toes, <laughs> look at her toes. It's very kawaii. The hair is vibrant as well. And I really like and appreciate the colors that they put in here. Now here they are together. Right, let me show you a quick look. So it may be small, but it's quite heavy. It's very durable and it's not cheap looking at all. Also, it's 3.9 inches tall together and the figure is pretty solid. There you go. You can place the Nezuko anywhere you want, but I would prefer you place it with the backpack. Now let's move on to the figure arts mini. Here's the front, here's the top, and there's a sticker there. Here's the side, that's how it should look like. And here's the other side. And here's the back and the bottom of the box. There's a sticker there as well. Unlike your usual box though, it cannot be opened at the top or at the bottom of the box. The opening is at the sides. So we should open it here. There we go. There is a serial number there, I think. her out there she is so kawaii it looks like an android right all right let's put it there first and let's remove this so we can see the contents and the details of the toy so here's a couple of arms included with the package so you can change the arms and here is the backpack so cute ain't it the details and the painting on it, it's quite very good, actually. And now let's go to the main event, my Nezuko. Here she goes. And as you can see, the hair looks great. The robe looks great. It's very vibrant and the details are just amazing. 
Now let me go ahead and show them to you one by one again. Here's Nezuko. Here is the stand. Here is the backpack. But she cannot fit her there though. <laughs> and here are the arms. So just like the Nendoroid, you can also replace her arms if you want to. There you go. That's everything that is included in the box. Now let's go ahead and take a detailed look of the Figure Arts Mini Nezuko Kamado. And as you can see, her arms are quite flexible. You can do other poses with her arms. You can change her arms if you want to with the spare arms that are included in the box that I showed you earlier. You can also move her legs the way you want to because it's flexible. The material of the kimono that is used here is flexible as well because you can make her look like she is kicking. Now, as you can see, you can also turn the whole body sideways as well. And there is a hole on her back where you can put the stand. Look at how cute she is, right? So very kawaii. Go ahead and take these arms out and install the other set of arms. Put the left arm in and the right arm in. There you go. That's how it looks like with the other set of arms. Actually like this better, so I'm gonna keep it there. Back again, I thought it was gonna fit Nezuko, but it didn't, so you can just display her beside Nezuko. So that should be it for today's video and I hope you enjoyed our unboxing and reviewing of the figures. So which figure is cuter? Is it the Hikake figure or is it the Figure Arts Mini? Let me know down below at the comment section and we'll talk there. But for me, well I don't know because Nezuko is cute. Whatever it is, it's still Nezuko, so it's cute for me and I love it. So, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I release my future videos. And again, stay healthy. Johnny!